Thank you for choosing Motorhome Hire. We've made a short video to help you get started so that you can make the most of your brake and use your motorhome safely. So please sit back and enjoy as your motorhome journey begins. Before travelling, please ensure your gas has been turned off by twisting the valve on the top of the bottle from the open to close position. Once this has been done, please secure the gas locker. It's also important to lower the TV aerial into the travelling position. Once this has been done, please lock it back in place. Make sure all blinds are down and that the safety glass lid on the cooker has been lowered and that all roof lights and windows have been safely shut and locked into position. In order to keep your fridge cool and running as you travel, switch your fridge to the 12 volt battery for the journey. Store loose objects in the overhead lockers, being careful to store any heavy objects like tins in the boxes provided as they may move in transit and potentially damage the work surfaces. Next, make your way around the motorhome, closing and securing all lockers and locking the main door too. Once you've arrived on site safely, you can hook up your motorhome to the mains using the mains lead provided. Make sure all the wires are safely tucked away as much as possible in order to avoid any accidents on site. Once you've done this, your motorhome can now be switched on at the main control panel above the door. Also control lighting, such as the awning light, interior lights, and there are various lights that can be switched on individually around the motorhome. Now you're free to turn on the gas by twisting the valve on the top of the bottle to the open position. This allows the gas to flow through into the motorhome. You can check the gas by lighting the hob on the cooker. Propane burns slightly hotter than the gas you have at home, so please be careful whenever you're cooking. Now we can get some water on board your motorhome. To do this, you need to fill the onboard tank. First, unlock and remove the blue safety cap, and using a hose, fill the onboard tank. You need to monitor the progress of the tank using the control panel above the door. Press the water button on the touchpad and the screen will show you how much fresh water is currently on board. Once you're satisfied with the level, remove and replace the safety cap. Now there's fresh water on board, but we won't be able to use the taps or shower until the pump switch on the control panel is turned on. Once the pump is on, the water will flow from the tank to the taps. To prepare the toilet cassette for use, lift the orange handle to remove it from its housing and place it in an upright position on the ground. Lift the orange pipe and remove the cap. Pour the correct measure of concentrated blue fluid and water into the top of the orange pipe. The blue fluid helps break down the waste and eliminate any unwanted odours inside the motorhome. Put the grey cap back on and put the orange pipe back into position before inserting the cassette back into the motorhome until the orange handle clicks back into place. Your motorhome comes equipped with a Truma Combi Boiler. 
you can control the combi boiler using the black control panel above the door. The central dial will help you make selections and confirmations. First we can select the icon which is for the temperature and we can adjust the temperature of the motorhome by twisting the dial and confirm it by pressing in. The next icon that flashes is the hot water. We click to go in and turn it on by turning the dial to eco, hot or the concentrated boost option. So we select hot for the hot water. Now it's worth bearing in mind the water gets to 70 degrees which is exceptionally hot. We can also select the power options for the boiler. These range from gas, a mix of gas and electric, and one kilowatt and two kilowatts of power. I've selected two kilowatts. Also, we can dictate the fan speed in which to distribute the air around the motorhome. We can always go back to the main menu by pressing the return button and turn the system off by holding down on the central dial. To flush the toilet, use the handle to open the cassette and then close again as shown. When leaving site or travelling, please place your microwave plate along with any other heavy objects in the box provided in the central aisle. And also ensure everything in the motorhome is packed away safely and securely. You will also need to drain the fresh water and the wastewater from your van. This is due to weight distribution. You can control the flow using the control panel above the door. You will need to empty your toilet cassette before you return your motorhome. To do this, head to the nearest waste disposal unit. Open the cassette by twisting the orange pipe and taking off the grey lid. As you pull the contents away, press down on the orange button. This allows air in and breaks the vacuum, allowing the contents to pour out quickly and hygienically. You're then free to pack the cassette back into the motorhome. And again, please check that the TV aerial on the roof has been secured for travel, as well as checking the fridge has been packed safely and set to the 12 volt battery option. Check that lids are down and blinds are open, and that all cupboards have been shut and handles secured. At this point, check round to make sure that all the steps, blinds, windows, and roof lights have been shut. We hope that video has given you a better understanding of how to use your motorhome. Thanks once again for choosing Motorhome Tire and we hope you have a really great break.